Okay, this is a tutorial on how to make a very simple basic floor plan uh, with a couple of pockets or identification zones that are on different angles using the coordinate system. So, first I'm going to show you method one, which is going to use traditional construction lines, and then I'm going to make a second version, which will then be using the coordinate system. So, here's my drawing, okay, what's important is not to scale, and all the dimensions are in metres, so looking at, at this zone, everything like 25, 300, 30, 50, they're all in metres. The first thing I'm going to do is use my units, okay, open it up, and I'm going to make sure that if I'm in millimetres, centimetres, I convert to metres for this exercise. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come straight into my construction layer, I'm going to build my construction base um, around to draw this plot. So I'm going to start from the 0, 0, which is my y-x down here. So I'm going to do an x line from the 0, 0 point, and I'm going to come up 90 degrees, and then come down 180. I'm holding shift so it snaps to these lo locations like so. So, we know the site boundary starts on 75, 55, so essentially my zero point is here and the, and the site starts 25 across. So I'm going to do some offsetting. 25, I go from the start here, come across, that's my 25. Then I'm going to do 300, so escape space, 300, and again escape space, 30. So now I'm just plotting all these bottom dimensions, so 25 to there, 330. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do 50 up. There to there, I'm going to do 85 up from the same base. And I'm going to do 35 from this top zone here up as well. like so. Now in my drawing layer what I can do is I know I'm starting from this location which is here on my point I'm coming up to the 85 mark so the first one's 50, 85 which is there so I'm going to click onto that, that location there and then I'm going to come along the bottom to so here coming up to 50 and I'm going to come across which is where I have to stop at this stage. It's all the information that I've got so far. So come down, across, back up. Next thing then to do is we've got to put this radii in because then it's 180 away. But you know this is actually for slap bang in the centre. So what I'm going to do from here, so from my centre circle is 300 by 170. So what I'm going to do, offset again, that's 300 from the zero point. To this line here, 300 in there. I'm going to colour that one blue so I can tell the difference and then offset again 170 from the base. So everything's coming from my 0, zero point which is my XY so I'm going to put that in blue so I can see that as well. So that's the centre of my radius. Okay. And I'm putting the radius in now or actually what I'm going to do is offset it 180 from the 300 mark to this one back so that's going to give me my edge so what I can do now is that's going to come up to here like so and I'm going to put the 170 in there which comes down and meets it at this point and then a line from the top here across and then back down again to the 35 mark which I use there so I'm just going to adapt that one slightly to kind of come into there so that should be 35 so let's do a quick dimensional check Say five, which it is. So I'm just going to turn off my construction and vision lines. Just going to do a trim those pieces there. 
Okay, so now we're going to focus on our building coordinates here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw these off piece. So what I'm going to do is move my drawing over here, and I'm just going to recreate these parts. So I'm going to start with a construction line again. So I'm now just going to change this one back to my construction layer just to get rid of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my X line from a point. So hold shift from a point like so. I'm just actually just going to move this one further down so I ain't got to worry about overlapping as much. So offset again. Now the first one is going to be 35 high. Second one's going to be 45 high. And then we got 10 coming down. Like so. And we got 50, 5, 0. And then we have 75. And then we have 45 from that end there. So running around the plot is from that value we have number 25. Which give it the same, so that must be 60 actually. 60 and then 25. Like so. So now I'm just going to put all of the lines in. Done my drawing layer. So I'm starting at this point here, coming down. 60 down across 25, back up all the way across, up 45, 45 down, down, down like so. Now if I turn my vision layer off, okay there's that shape that I've got. So I need to move that to 205, 245. So what I'm going to do again, turn my construction layers on. So remember this is all from the neutral zone again, or the zero, zero point. So I'm going to go to 205. Put that one as yellow. I'm just going to change the color of in the construction. and doesn't actually change the layer at this stage. 245 on the base. Change on to yellow as well. So that's the top pot, and I'm just going to do a move. Okay, that one is into place there. That will then cement that one in. Now we can do the same again for this other one. So I'm just going to turn my construction layers off. Come back to the side. Okay, and then we're going to work on the next part. So you can kind of see now the construction moves. Just going to delete those ones off. Work again. Vision, next line, point, point. Okay, now remember this is sort of drawn at a 45 degree angle, so um, yeah, it's entirely your choice at this stage to do it. But what I'm going to do to make my life a bit easier, I'm just going to draw it at a 90 degree um, start position. So uh, I'm going to start from the base, so I'm coming up uh, 40 to offset 40. Okay, I'm then coming in 15, another 15, and I'm going back out to 40. 
and like so. So that's giving me those areas, and I'm going in offset 16.25. Like so, so I'm going to put that little shape in. Like so. Now we get told it's an R70 from that point, so in the circle, come out 70. Okay, that now pitches that across. And some term of vision there, so you can see what we've got now. And then lock a line to 90, lock a line on the bottom. Okay, trim out like so. Okay, now what we need to do is do a rotate. So select the objects, choose the base point, which is that one. And obviously then we need to come to a 45 degree angle. So rotate around like so. So I think that's what so I'm just gonna do a quick line check. So measure, I think that's at 45 degrees. Uh, 135 it should be showing up, so that's not. Let me just reverse that one a second. If I draw just gonna draw a line at forty five. Normally you can get a parallel line, let me just uh, down extension. There we go, so there's extensions, it's locked onto that one. Delete that line, move again this one. And this time we're going to 24. To 102, so it's going to move that over here into our so we know it's 242 was the same um, last time, but this time it's in height, so we're coming 242. Two four two coming across, which is there, and then by one o two. So it's that one and that one. Colour those guys just a completely different colour again. I'm going to move from that base point straight into. Draw night. So turn everything off. So construction, like so. And then last thing to do would just be dimension up and put on your boundaries. And that's just one way we can do. Like, so I'll make a second video which is just using the coordinate system to show you how easy it is. I'll make a part two of this one. But this is part one which is just using construction lines to solve a floor plan.